talk about uh, individual walking sticks. And now I'm going to go through uh, some videos on uh, the eucalyptus walking stick. Now I did it before, and I talked a little bit about it before in my one video why I switched from oil linseed oil to raw linseed oil. I switched from boiled linseed oil over to the raw. So I talked about that one, and uh, it wasn't that I didn't want to talk about these ones. I was like, I was thinking, man, I, how many more walking sticks can I do? But I'm going to give a little background on the eucalyptus walking stick and explain. I'll probably give you some little bit, you know, what I did, but well, let me give a little background first. So, the background is, is that oh, I can't think of his name. Elmer. Elmer was the man who gave me these square sticks, which they take a whole lot of effort to do. They take a lot of work and a lot of time, and it might look easy when you watch my videos on making walking sticks, but it's not. It takes a lot of work. So, yeah. So anyways, I might make one keynote when you're doing uh, your sticks when you're, when you're refinishing the oil or just putting new oil on there or whatever hit that bottom part I said that in my before my other video but make sure you hit the bottom part here so that's key and it's very important that you know that so remember to hit that with the extra amount of oil I don't care if you don't even oil the stick once you at least get this with oil. Because this is going to be, you know, when you use it in the wintertime, rainy days, whatever. That's what you're going to need it for. One more little thing. I want to do a little close up and then talk about the durability of this wood. So, I'm going to give you the spiral fast. And so one thing about this wood, it's like walnut wood and white oak. Although I don't have it, I know that Osage Orange is a very highly durable, rot resistant wood. But I never had an Osage Orange. Never had a chance to work with it. But one thing I want to say, this wood is highly rot resistant. But even if wood is highly rot resistant, it doesn't mean it's going to wear out and rot and die. Water, sun, and just whatever. Well, usually the water and the sun. Water, if the oil, eventually the water seeps in, okay? And it ruins the oil. And when it ruins the oil, it's worthless. So when it becomes worthless is when it, the water goes in there. And so what the wood does whatever oil it has, it tries to push out the water. So, that's why we like a drying oil, because the oil has a sealant to it. So in other words, it's sealed and protected. So meaning, when it's dry and sealed, now, linseed oil never fully hardens, but it does harden enough to where it will block out water. People say it'll break right through. Bull. I've had water on several of my sticks for months. Spring rain. This one's been caught in spring rain. I've had several of them been caught in spring rain. These will do just fine during the weather days. Don't think they won't last because they get rained on. I do say touch them up at least uh, three to five years with oil. Sand it back with 180 grit. More than likely, I'm probably going to sand this back because I don't like the oil on top of it. Because that puts a barrier, although it does add a little bit of protection, but it does put a barrier to where I can't get any more oil in the wood. And I don't like that. So I'm going to break that off and then I'll sand it back and I'll call it done with that because I don't want no, I don't want that oil on it. I don't want it to be sealed so tight to where it's got a surface coating and you can't get any more oil in there eventually the oil is going to be depleted so you got to break the seal 
the deal, cold after five years, 180 degrees sandpaper, 220, whatever, and then put a coat of oil. What I like to do is then set in the sun for a day or two, and it'll be pretty much dry. So, this is eucalyptus, it's highly rot resistant. It, uh, any wood will go gray in the sun if you don't treat it with oil or some say UV inhibitors. I don't know. As much as my sticks see the sun, I never seen them go gray because I'm always me going and touching them up. UV inhibitors, they work, but 